Well, hello. Welcome back to the farm. We're uh, glad to have you here. Yep, it's going to be another busy day. Got uh, several things that we need to do. We've got uh, a guy coming to pick up one of the heifer calves. So, got to get her separated, pulled up, where we can get her loaded up. Honestly, uh, when we bought this place, it was set up for cattle, for loading cattle, working cattle, blah, blah, blah. Well, we did a lot of changes before we had cows, and um, it's not really adept for loading cows anymore because we kind of uh, adjusted everything for goats and sheep. So, we keep making plans to get everything kind of on a bi-purpose, you know, where we can pretty easily use it for either one. That has just been uh, problematic because they each have their own advantages, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, anyway, let's get down here and see what we're dealing with. Yeah, that heifer right there in the front, right there, is the one I'm after. She's always already kind of high-headed. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. No choice. I'm going to have to bring the tractor down, I guess, and uh, herd them up with the tractor. Good luck. That might be her right there. Maybe I can do the turn of the tractor. Yep, it's a little bucket. Try to move this trailer back. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the uh, safety chains to itself. The hardest part about driving one like this is you have to remember that you're going backwards. So that takes a little bit, like a little bit earlier turn. Come get her. That will also get me a chance to grab a little drink. It is hot today. It's well in the 90s. So of course, it's supposed to start raining tonight. Good chance to see how there's thunderstorms. All right, well, he is on his way. Hopefully she'll stay put until he gets here. Uh, load went smooth. She uh, 
we just very calmly walked her up and she sniffed and sniffed and sniffed and then boop right up in the trailer so as far as loading out cows go you can't ask for anything better than that here she goes first heifer sold Push hog. So I can get under here. Not to get too far. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So, a couple issues with this thing. For one, it's 100 years old. Two, see where these welds right here are starting to break? Unfortunately, I have nothing I can do about that. Right here, yep, starting to break out, rust out right in there. That'll be one thing we'll need to real soon get fixed. But the biggest issue that I have right now, one, these things are dull as they can possibly be. Horribly dull. And the second thing of it is, is if you see this one right here, how much play there is in that one. See how it wobbles? Yeah. So the problem is, is when you kick on the PTO drive and it kicks in until it gets up to speed, this thing sounds like, yeah, that wobble there, yeah. Thing sounds like it's about to blow apart, literally. I have no way of getting to them to be able to tighten them up, unfortunately, because that's probably a inch and a quarter. Yeah, and as rusted as that is, yeah. Well, welcome to the weather in this part of the country. Hadn't been able to get a whole lot done today, unfortunately, because it has turned off unbearably hot, humid. Uh, we do have rain moving in, thank goodness. I still have not been able to find a wrench big enough to get in here to this to tighten this one up, unfortunately. But, so I'm going to suffice with trying to sharpen it a little bit with my homemade grinder. We'll see how it works. Oh. Well, it'll be slow work, but it'll beat nothing. I can at least get them cleaned up a bit, dressed a bit, so they won't be quite so dull. Yeah, it'll be a bit slower because the drill doesn't have quite the RPMs that a, a grinder would. But, like I said, it'll be a whole lot better than nothing. We're going to stop there. Because it don't have to be knife edge sharp. But, and, and I'm also afraid, well, it don't have to be knife edge sharp. So I'm going to stop there. It's much sharper when you consider the uh, RPMs that it should make a good cut. Uh, because, I mean, it's not, you know, not blade sharp, but it's, it's much better than it was. It's not a rounded, blunt edge. So I got started thinking kind of after the fact that some folks might be interested in how I put together the uh, makeshift grinder that I used to sharpen the bush hog blades. Uh, what I did is I had a cordless drill and then I got me a grinding wheel and a bolt. Now this bolt is a carriage bolt. So I chose the carriage bolt because not only does it have the uh, full thread, the full length of the shaft, but it also has the little square shoulder right under the head. 
so that square shoulder can go down through the mounting hole on the uh, grinding wheel and just kind of help hold everything together okay so then you take a washer put that on the outside so that it's flush onto the top of the grinding wheel and you want to try to get that as centered as possible so it, when it spins it's it's not out of balance it's it's even and sometimes it takes you know a little bit to get it right but I finger tighten that first nut down and then take a, a wrench and tighten it down as tight as possible then I took the set, second nut put it on there as a jam nut and tightened it down and took a wrench and tightened that down also as much as possible then you get it into your drill chuck chuck it down and there you go now it's not doing real well this time because I don't have these nuts tightened down real real well I didn't bring a wrench with me to do that for the demonstration but you get the idea now because it's lower RPM than a regular grinder it is a little bit slower uh, and occasionally you'll have to make sure you tighten up that chuck if you have a keyless chuck or if your keyless chuck doesn't have some type of lock to keep the chuck from coming loose okay now if you have a keyed chuck you should be able to tighten that down good enough to keep it in place and there you go well after several hours of beating and banging and sweating and throwing tools <laughs> yeah finally and see if I can get Well, would you look at there? We have issues on the farm. Uh, what is our issue? Well, it was running low of feed. So I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and get a bulk bag of feed today because there's no rain in the forecast for like nine days. And then, look at there. You see that? Yeah. And according to the radar, I've got maybe 30 minutes before it lets loose. And once it lets loose, 
it's gonna rain like a dog till probably 9 9 30 tonight so here is my dilemma my dilemma is this I used all the water that I had in the back of the tractor tank last night to uh, water the cows sorry trying to back up talk drive to make sure I don't run over vehicles and all that stuff at the same time. That's hard for an uncoordinated person to do. So, what I'm going to have to do is hurriedly get over here and hopefully get enough water in back tank to uh, counterbalance this bag of feed. Hopefully it won't take too long. Hi, how are you? All right. Well, this is moving in fast enough that uh, I may have to go ahead and pull the truck down and uh, see if I can take one of these other bolt bags. Yeah, it's getting dark. It's a pretty intense line that's coming. Anyway, and I might have to see if I can take one of these other bolt bags from the past and double layer this uh, just to try to protect it. Shower sprinkles are picking up a bit. It's just unfortunately, my other phone was about dead. So I had to leave it on the charger to come down, to hurry up and get down here. But uh, so now I can't really see with the radar to see if any of what was indicating on radar is still a go or if it's dissipated a bit. So, what time is it? Uh truck clock truck clock seven o'clock well according to them the heaviest part was going to start about 10 after seven so we'll see well 710 has uh come hi and uh just had that one little route on sprinkles rain is starting to pick up i mean the the wind is picking up but it's starting to lighten up a bit back that way. So I don't know if it went around us because it's pretty dark back that way now. Um, and it's dark, turning darker that way. So I don't know. Trying to make a choice. Okay, I had a little easier time getting the bag over the bin, so I actually have a little extra room here, but I'm still probably going to have to...
split that spout. And then I'll split it on the other side. About another 15 minutes or so 20 minutes that should be full so while it's doing that I'm gonna go ahead and get buckets together it's the rains picking up so I but I like I said I haven't been back to the house to check the radar because I rarely bring my quote good phone down to the barn um, so I haven't checked in a bit to see if the rain is let up if it's dissipated if it went another direction it is looking again still lighter back this way and uh, lighter that way too and it's darker that way so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> If nothing else, it has sure cooled things off, so that is definitely nice. You would think they never ever get fed. Ever. 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 So, this is where I, my uh, recording ends for tonight, because I'm going to put the camera in a safe place with the rain coming. So, we'll talk to you again later.